there's only two pieces of maintenance you need on the Tormek T1. That is changing the pad on the guide and cleaning that diamond wheel. Now changing the pad only is needed when you've worn it down. The diamond wheel, I've also done a lot of knives and I noticed that it needed cleaning. Here's how I did both. The Tormek T1 doesn't really need any maintenance per se. You will need to clean the disc and also change the guide pad. And that's really about all you have to do and clean the outside of the unit if you want to keep it looking nice. To do the cleaning and the pad, there's a couple things you have to do. First thing is going to be remove the angle guide and the actual indicator, which is the little plastic piece here, will fall out and you'll panic and think, oh my God, it's broken. It's not. That's just how it is. Make sure you track that. Take apart the angle guide. There's actually a piece that pops out of plastic that has the pad on each side. There's a large pad and a small pad. So you want to make sure you put the appropriate size on each of the sides of the guide. Here is the pad that comes with the Tormek T1. And if you needed to use more, you can always order them directly from Tormek. You want to remove the pad. And in this case, I used the goof off, which actually will take that glue off the back side. I would make sure to only use the goof, uh, goof off on the removal of the glue. And of course, the diamond wheel. I would not use it on any other part of the Tormek T1. I used a pocket knife to move off that kind of residue that you get on the end. You don't have to have it absolutely off with perfection, but you do want to get as most as possible off so you can actually take the new pads and put them on without any bumps or any issues with affixing it into the proper location. Once you set it in location, push it down firmly. That glue is going to set up over the next probably 15 to 30 minutes and you'll not be able to get it off. I take the bottom and I roll it over. It's a little bit long, but I think that's intentional. If not, mine was a little long and I just rolled it over the edge of the back and it stuck on there perfect. Now, for the piece that's on the angle guide, you want to do the same thing and pull off all of that padded tape on the back, which is almost like a glue. I used a pocket knife to remove as much as possible with the goo to remove that, and then I affixed the new pad onto the guide in the back. In this case, it was a perfect fit. Just push it on really well and make sure it stays there. It's not going to come off once you push it back on. Once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and put the plastic padded guide back onto the device. Sometimes it's a little tricky, but if you do it at an angle, it really goes on pretty easily. Give it a little pull test, make sure it stays on there, and then put the guide back in, or the angle indicator back in the guide, and then it'll fix it back on the Tormek. Notice that there's an actual little metal rod below, and that is where the angle indicator needs to slide over as well. Once that's back on, tighten up the guide, and you're good to go with a new pad. Once that's done, if you need to clean your wheel, you're gonna go ahead and basically remove the angle guide again. You can also do it at the same time, but sometimes people don't need to do them both at the same time. Look at that wheel, it is absolutely full of dirt or shavings from my knives. We're gonna go and use the goo and remove everything. It took me actually five different passes and that was able to get it totally clean where there was no residue on my rag after running it across the diamond. And in this case, I decided to give it a little touch up. Love that logo. And make sure you reassemble that angle guide, put it back on, and you're good to go. And look at that squeaky clean diamond wheel on that fresh pad. And that's all you got to do on the Tormek T1. Until next time, stay sharp. Smoke on, baby.